it's also it's also interesting how we started off how, uh, talking about where uh, that where this this uh, poor child was buried, right? Like, hey, how can this person be crazy if they're thinking about these things? I think that was a good way to start, also. Um, but yeah, you're absolutely right. Just the brutality of these things, combined with the inconsistencies of if someone is not uh, sane, how are they acting so deliberately? It's going to be very very powerful, and I think it's a great way to start because um, it, it's just so so graphic, and also the picture. Uh, demonstration are always great. The picture, you know, that, that, that's what got me looking. It's amazing to me that, there, that, that really nobody smelled anything over the week plus time before this body was found. It's so incredible. I, I agree with you. And it also allows the jury to put themselves in the same position to also react to the horror, right, uh, of, of, of knowing that you've been next to this thing in close proximity um, and 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 just the horror of that, just the, the, the morbidness of having that next to you, it's gonna, it's gonna scar them for a long time. Uh, the, the people that were, that were there, obviously, but also the jury, right? The, the jury puts themselves there like, wow, what, what, what would be my reaction to that? And I think it's so powerful.